लड़ाई साहब को जीत के देंगे Amid the NCP versus NCP row in Maharashtra, Deputy Chief Minister Ajit Pawar appeared to be ahead in number game with more NCP MLAs supporting him than his uncle and party president Sharad Pawar. The warring factions held their separate meetings on Wednesday to showcase their strength, escalating the battle between them to control the outfit. Sharad Pawar supporters thronged his residence in South Mumbai ahead of the show of strength meetings convened by him and his nephew Ajit. As many as 32 of the 53 NCP MLAs attended the meeting called by the Ajit Pawar group. 18 MLAs were present at the conclave addressed by Sharad Pawar. Addressing separate meetings, their first after the July 2 split in the 24-year-old party, Sharad Pawar criticized his nephew Ajit for joining the Shiv Sena BJP government as they took jibes at each other over the former's age and use of his photo. Sharad Pawar and Ajit Pawar camps of the NCP held their meetings in Yashwant Rao Chavan Center in South Mumbai and in Bhujbal Nolit City in suburban Bandra respectively. Surrounded by party workers including 32 of NCP's 53 MLAs, Ajit Pawar reminded his 83-year-old uncle that it was time for him to retire from active politics. He blamed Sharad Pawar for the NCP losing out on the chance to have its own chief minister in Maharashtra in 2004 addressing his factions meeting where around a dozen MLAs were present the senior pawar criticized his nephew for going with the BJP for power despite prime minister narendra modi calling the ncp a corrupt party the veteran politician objected to his big photo adorning the stage at the meeting convened by the ajit pawar group he said that those using his image are aware that they have nothing else to show on the ajit pawar led faction approaching the election commission and staking claim to the party symbol the former union agriculture minister assured his supporters he won't allow anyone to snatch the party symbol the ncp chief warned the ajit pawar faction saying every single ally of the bjp has eventually faced political destruction and they will meet the same fate <laughs>